Hi guys, welcome back to Simple Sanctuary. My name is Sarah. I have been getting all sorts of questions about pests and what to do and how to keep all sorts of bugs off of your plants. I actually just lost my first melon vine to a vine borer today. So I am right there with you on being super annoyed by these critters and occasionally super heartbroken when they beat me to the punch. Needless to say, I'll be doing some pest management tonight. So I thought I would take you guys along with me so that you can see a bit of what we do to handle pests um, in our own garden. So before I show you what we do, I'm gonna show you what we use. That's probably the question that I've gotten the most. Basically, the two main things that I use boil down to neem oil and what I call BT. I will link to both of those below so that you guys can look them up for yourselves. And all I do is mix a little bit of those into a spray bottle and go around and spray my garden. Let's go spray. I am spraying a neem oil mixture tonight. So I don't mix neem and BT. The BT is actually a bacteria and I don't know if it will survive mixing with the neem oil. For instance, when you take a probiotic, there are certain things that can kill that, like if it gets too warm or too cold, that sort of thing. So it's really easy. You just spray it all over it. You wanna get some on the dirt. Unlike when you water, you do wanna get this on the leaves. The neem oil is a little different because all it does is affect the taste of the leaves. It's gonna make these leaves super bitter they're not gonna to wanna to eat them and they're gonna move on. I should probably mention another great form of organic pest control are your hands. <laughs> this guy is beautiful, but he's not good, so. I did not say it was a particularly um, kind way of getting rid of them, but you know, it works. The BT, you spray it the same way. Uh, it functions a little differently because it somehow kills the caterpillars. I don't know how, I just know it does. So when I spray BT, I'm a little bit more careful about where I spray. So anything that I have planted in order to attract pollinators, I don't spray BT on. I try and focus on the vines and avoid the flowers, basically. Just because, again, I know it affects the larval stage, I don't know how much it affects pollinators. I assume it would, and I really don't want to kill off the bees. So I'm a little more cautious spraying BT than I am with this neem. One last thing about neem is that it is an oil. You want to be very careful about what time of day you spray neem onto your plants. If you have ever gone to the beach and laid out with like baby oil on to try and speed up that tanning process, you know, back when you were young and didn't know skin cancer was an actual thing, you'll know that oil can, you know, cause you to burn quite rapidly. When you spray neem oil, you want to make sure of two things. One, that there's going to be at least six hours um, of temperatures under 90 degrees and at least six hours out of direct sun so that the plant can absorb that oil and not get scorched. In addition to neem oil and BT, there are some other things you can do organically to help manage pests. I've mentioned on here before that we use bananas and banana peels to help deter aphids. Neem oil is also helpful with that. I showed you guys my hands-on method where you see a baddie, you squish a baddie. I'm kind of impressed with how much the garden has grown. This is the first time I've had to use multiple spray bottles. And there you go. A few sprays later and your garden's protected. My only caveat is that while organic methods are helpful, they are not going to completely rid your garden of pests. However, I really strongly adhere to the idea that if there is not something eating your garden, then your garden is not part of the ecosystem. And I want my garden to be a sanctuary not only for me, but for pollinators and birds and wildlife and all of it. So I'm okay with a couple pests. I do hate it when I lose things, but it'll be fine. <laughs> 
If you know of any additional organic pest control methods, please feel free to leave those below. I would love to hear about them. If you learned something today, please hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget, next week we are starting on our Food Sanctuary Challenge. And if you'd like to follow along with that, please hit subscribe and join us over on Instagram. Thanks again for watching, guys. Talk soon.